And another day on the road for the Tour de Rock as the cops for cancer keep cycling south. And with every kilometer they pass and every stop they make and every head shave they stop at, they're doing more and more to help children who are fighting cancer. The team rolled in from Campbell River to the Comox Valley today. Now, geographically, they've hit the halfway point. But from here on out, the riders' days are going to get very, very busy. Hey, news reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. As they arrive in the Comox Valley this morning, the first order of business is a stop at a local car dealership. It's the chance to thank staff for the donation of a training bike and several days' use of a pickup. The stop is brief because in another part of Courtney, the first of several school populations is waiting for the team. It's an amazing thing to be, to be educating them on this wonderful cause. Children are our future and it's an opportunity for us to, to show them that and get them involved in that. I mean, who doesn't want a police escort rolling into your elementary school or high school to begin with? The students of a cold Puntledge Park Elementary welcome the riders with ear-splitting screams. Clearly, they are excited about seeing the team, and the riders are visibly impressed with their welcome. That was quite the greeting. Uh, you know, as we worked our way down the island, uh, it's just the, you know, the ears are getting in the sore. During their two weeks on the road, the team will make more than three dozen stops at schools of different sizes and age groups. It's considered an essential part of the tour, not because of the money that's collected, but rather it gets the message out to kids about lending a hand. I mean, it's one of the things you first learn in kindergarten is sharing and helping others, and I think that that's a huge thing that they do understand. I think they understand that when they do their coin drives and their penny drives, every little bit of that counts. Students at Airport Elementary welcome the team again with a loud, enthusiastic greeting. But the gymnasium comes to absolute silence at one point when the school's principal talks about losing two students to cancer at a previous school. What they do is very important to me because I do my job because I love kids. And I would never, ever want to see any of you get cancer and not be with us anymore. Back in Courtney, the students of Valley View Elementary have been looking forward to the team's arrival for several days. Their fundraising leading up to today has netted over $6,000. The emotions are going, you're, you're home in your hometown, you see all the people that uh, you know coming up to the school. Uh, I had goosebumps. The riders will be taking in several events tonight and tomorrow in the Comox Valley before heading south down towards Qualicum. In Courtney, Gord Kerbis, A News. And, of course, we are very proud of our media writer, uh, one of two, our sports host, Myra Lawrence. We checked in with Myra earlier this afternoon to get an update. Myra. Well, Hudson, day five of the 2010 Canadian Cancer Society Cops for Cancer Tour de Rock, and the fourth day of riding. We are in the lovely Comox Valley today. We've only gone about 50 or 60 k, so a short day on the bike, but a lot of stops made. By the time the, the day is over, we will have stopped at 11 locations, including a lot of elementary schools. Valley View Elementary School was a real treat. About 200, 300 kids outside that raised over $6,000 for Cops for Cancer. We're meeting incredible people on the road here, and we can't wait to meet more more people tomorrow in the Parksville Qualicum area. I invite everybody to come and join us at the Qualicum Town Square at noon for a big community celebration. Until then, Hudson, we'll check back from you or back with you from the uh, Parksville Qualicum area tomorrow. All right, thank you, Myra. Ride safely. If you'd like to help Myra and her Cops for Cancer teammates as they raise much needed money to help fight pediatric cancer and to help fund programs for children with cancer, here's how you can do it. Just log on to our website. That's the easiest way at atv.ca. Follow the Myra Lawrence Cops for Cancer link, and that will take you right to Myra's page to make a donation. We hope you can do that.